It's a multi-billion dollar industry with millions of participants, and on Friday, it was shut down by federal agents. The FBI seized the domain names of poker stars, Full Tilt Poker and Absolute Poker, and prosecutors charged 11 people with fraud, money laundering, and illegal gambling. We'd heard rumors of the skies falling plenty of times, but this time it really felt like it was. Sites were shut down, people's funds were frozen, the DOJ and federal government issued statements saying, you know, basically it's over, guys. Now, with charges of bank fraud and money laundering, it's clear that the, uh, the focus of the prosecutor's case is on payments. The federal government alleges that individuals lied to U.S. banks by setting up false businesses to act as conduits for internet gaming payments, being disguised as something else, miscoding transactions. The sites to get money from the players in the United States to them and vice versa had to be lying to the banks. There's no doubt that that was going on. The federal government seized money all over the world, and they froze the accounts of all the players. For players that relied on online poker as their main source of income, all of a sudden, you know, the tap is gone. There's essentially panic. It's like 1929, I run on the bank. People are, Wait, get my money, I need to get my 500, I need to get my 5,000. I mean, there's really a run on the bank and a panic. And the entire poker world essentially blows up. This is a declaration of war by the United States against these companies. The sites were stamped with the official seals of the FBI and the Department of Justice. I mean, that's intimidating shit. You know, one day you're an online poker player and the next day you're an outlaw. People were wondering if they would ever get their money back and nobody knew these answers. Their money was gone, their jobs were gone, everyone was lost. The entire poker world will remember April 15th, 2011. The United States of America was the biggest market. It was the most lucrative market, and it was the one that all of the sites wanted to target. It's gone now. It's completely gone. And all the money that they were spending, you know, in my estimation, three to four hundred million dollars a year in order to get new American customers is gone. It was a huge blow to, to the online poker community when they realized, okay, this is legitimately the end of online poker as we know it because there were no sites ready to, to, to step in. There was no next step. I would advise everyone not to wait it out in any way. I think online poker is gone from America probably forever.